Hey, Ian back with another video. And today, we're gonna make pumpkin pie. Now, some may say you can only eat pumpkin pie at Thanksgiving and maybe at Christmas for all the American viewers. But in Canada, we only eat pumpkin pie once a year and that's at Thanksgiving. But for me, I love eating it. It's probably my, one of my favorite pies that are out there. So I'll end up eating this in starting September, October, and all the way into November. So this recipe today is actually gonna be a gluten-free pie crust. I know. So the crust, you're like, you need to have a flaky pie pastry crust. It just needs that. Pie isn't pie without it. And trust me, I know. I've had some gluten-free or flour-free crust before. I've been terrible. Like absolutely terrible. It doesn't have that crunch. I love that crunch to a pie crust. It needs to be flaky and buttery. It just makes a pie. I don't know how to tell you, it really does. But for me, being gluten sensitive, I'm gonna go ahead and be like, oh, there's a little something with a gluten allergy. Like, yeah, I'm not allergic to it. I don't eat gluten and then automatically puke or shit myself. But I don't feel great. I have brain fog. I feel shit. I can't think. I literally, be, my brain literally gets slower. So for that reason, I avoid it for the most part. Sometimes I don't avoid it at all. Donuts, I fucking love donuts. But for this crust, I'm gonna go ahead and use the nuts. It still has that fatty from the almond butter, that sweetness from the dates and that crunch from the nuts. And come, it'll come all together. It'll almost be like a base, like a streusel base. So what you need for the crust is one and a half cups of uh, walnuts. I'm gonna put them through the food processor. You can go ahead and use any other kind that you want, like say like but pecans, almonds, walnuts, cashews, anything like that. I just have walnuts on hand, I have a big bag, so that's what I'm using. Five whole dates soaked in hot water for 20 minutes and a quarter cup almond butter. Now, you can use whatever nut butter you want. I have almond butter, so you can go ahead and use Walnuts, butter, I don't know about how calm that is. Peanut butter, anything like that. Cashew butter, whatever you have on hand. Whatever you have in the house and stocked up in your pantry, use that. So with that pie crust, I'm gonna go ahead and bake it for 10 minutes at 350. Oven's a little light on the temperature like mine. Go 375 or 350 for 10 minutes. Now that the crust is laid out, I'm gonna go ahead and start making the filling. What we're gonna need for the filling is two cups of pureed pumpkin. I'm gonna use a pumpkin I have from the garden this year, but go ahead, use the canned pumpkin. It works great. If you can't find canned pumpkin and you got like an orange squash, like a butternut squash, works just as well. Two eggs, one tablespoon of cornstarch, half cup of liquid honey. From there, it's gonna go ahead and add a cup of coconut milk. Go ahead, use any other kind of milk you want. Almond milk, cashew milk, regular cow milk, what have you, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and get in the spice blend. I'm gonna do one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one eighth of a teaspoon, or as I like to do, a generous dash of cloves, and then one teaspoon of dried ginger, a fresh ginger sitting in the fridge. So I'm gonna go ahead and grate that and put one teaspoon of fresh ginger into this batter. It's got a nice little kick of flavor to the pie filling. It's gonna add a nice little hum of like, spicy ginger notes to it. And then last but not least in that spice blend, I'm gonna add a few, couple grinds of black pepper into it as well. So in your bowl, go ahead, mix all the ingredients together, whisk it all together really well, get it nicely incorporated. Once the, once the crust is baked, pull it out of the oven, pour that pumpkin pie filling over top of the crust, put it back in the oven at 375, or if your oven's really good, 350 for one hour, give or take, or and until the center is set, just tap with your finger and it's still runny, it's not ready yet, or insert with a knife and a knife comes out clean, you're good to go. Once the pie is done, go ahead, let it cool on the counter for a couple hours before putting it in the fridge to cool completely. I like a nice chilled pie before eating it. I'm kind of a purist when it comes to eating pumpkin pie. I don't like anything on top of it. I don't like whipped cream or ice cream or is there anything else you put on pumpkin pie? I'm not quite sure. Those are the things I, I know of that growing up, that's what we did. So today, I'm just gonna go ahead, cut myself a piece, and enjoy. 
I hope you had a great time. You enjoyed this recipe. I hope it works great for you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye. A Brazil nut? Well, Brazil nut. It's not a good idea. That too many of those might kill you. Just fucking brain fart right now. Oh, right. Fuck me. How did I forget that? Huh. Ugh. Oh, puberty. Jeez.